So why use Redis for all your applications? You know, I love the idea of that, but I think I need to convince you, right? So if we look at it from the different pers uh, the personas of developer and operator, you know, developers, they, they want to code with data structures, right? And that's one of the things that people may uh, fall in love with Redis. Um, but also, you know, Redis was built by developers. It's, it was built by Salvatore who wanted to have something that was fast and fun for him to use. Um, and so one of the things we've been doing is we've been adding all of these um, modules to extend how you can use Redis. But um, last month in October, we announced Redis Insight. And Redis Insight is a free tool you can download that allows you to introspect your Redis cluster, look at the keys, uh, look at optimizations, look at the slow log, visualize data in graphs or in streams. And so you can go to the website right now, download it for free. It's always going to be for free, and it's just a, a, another way for developers to understand and look at the data inside Redis. From the operator perspective, you know, we're living in a cloud era. We're living in a hybrid cloud era. We're still going to have on-premise. People need to span both of those environments. Um, there's cost of ownership. Uh, there's the operational burden. So, you know, uh, Redis Enterprise solves these problems as well. Everything from serverless deployment, if you run, uh, use the Redis managed cloud service, uh, the ability to use the different tiering of memory and be able to do a mixture of on-prem, cloud, in order to meet your uh, deployment objectives. So you can deploy Redis in all of these different ways. Um, I think the key thing, if anybody is running from an operations point of view, the ability to do five nines of availability is absolutely critical to maintain uh, these sort of services, um, as well as be able to do linear scalability. And in a recent benchmark, we did 200 million operations a second on a cluster of 40 nodes in EC2, right? 200 million operations a second. Just kind of think what you could do with that. Just think how that could change the business problem and how you solve the problem, uh, because you can access all of that data uh, in under um, um, one millisecond. And so now you can actually think about data in a very, very different way. <clears throat> 